Okay, here we go. We're getting ready to launch the drone. we are got between four and five minutes uh, until the gate's supposed to open. So we're going to go ahead and launch in uh, yeah, about four or five minutes. We're going to go ahead and launch and uh, take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. It appear about 50 feet and we'll start flying out to where the cows are. So there's Meg down there at the water trap, other four-wheeler. She's got the other drone. And so we're both going to try to do this, and maybe between the two of us we'll have a pretty decent video. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to climb out, get up here pretty high, drop my speed down. Okay, so I'm sitting up here about 200 feet. Looks like we got a cloud right over the cows right now. So we'll zoom in some here. Whoa. Little uncommanded yaw there going on. So there's our gate right there, just bringing her right into center frame. So there's our gate, and we're going to be opening that gate in, uh, let's see, four minutes now. So we're going to go ahead and set up a shooting mode here. go got a little uh, point of interest set up so we're going to orbit that a little bit now sit here and orbit for uh, for a minute or two maybe the cows will do their thing so this two o'clock move program is working pretty well um, most of the time within 20 or 30 minutes uh, when we come out to check we'll find them in the new paddock which is always great the other herd that we have that's uh, about two miles west of here on a very similar program, they're moving every day as well at two o'clock. So as soon as we witness these, that'll be the next thing to go check on the list today. I am uh, where I'm sitting. What, what you can see right now, I'm back to the left out of frame, kind of at the top, I suppose. Um, so I'm back off quite a ways. And from where I'm sitting, I can see all the cows and all the cows they're pointed toward the gate. They're all kind of looking that direction and they all seem to be waiting. So hopefully they'll bail in there when that gate opens in another minute and a half to two minutes. And uh, we'll get to watch them. Get to watch them go. So in case you haven't been following along the whole, uh, the whole trip, I'm Red Hills Rancher. My real name's Brian Alexander. I'm part owner and I'm operator of the Alexander Ranch in South Central Kansas, Barber County. Um, the ranch is 7,000 acres of all native range. It's very well subdivided and broken up. There's no farm ground on the ranch. We don't own a tractor. Uh, we do no cultivation, no farming. It's all native range. So if it doesn't grow naturally in the pasture, the cows don't get to eat it. That's my philosophy. Um, these cows we're looking at here, these are Coriana cows uh, that I bought a little over two months ago out of a sale barn in Lamb Passes, Texas. Um, they've been here, uh, 23rd of March was our first day in the pasture. So there's parts of this pasture that we grazed back there at the end of March that have on top of 60 days of rest on them already. And I've been out today, oh, looking around, looking at some grass, measuring grass, and and squeezing some grass to try to check bricks levels um we got some bricks of we got some pretty good bricks levels today we'll get back to that in a minute um we should be within 60 seconds of the gate if my watch is anywhere close some of the grass that we grazed with these cows oh 60 70 days ago is already 18 to 20 inches tall of leaf um 18, 16, 18 inches of big blue stem. There they go. The gate must open and here they all go. Look at them. Pile in there. And isn't that neat?
few stragglers and uh and they'll all be in there I tell you these bat latches are a huge they're a time saver they're a labor saver and what they really add to the operation is a lot of flexibility so we'll just make sure the fences are built we don't have to be here at two o'clock or first thing in the morning to open the gate to turn the cattle into a new paddock uh, we can build fence twice a week and set everything up on the bat latches and, and basically walk away. I'm anticipating in about another month that uh, you know a lot of these, a lot of this workload will come down because we'll be able to trust our bat latches. Our cattle will be trained and be accustomed to the system, and uh, and everything will work. Slide back over here. So now you see they're all in. The new paddock and they have found the far side punch in here a little tighter so there's the gate that they'll go through in 24 hours they'll go through that tomorrow so they ran in and kind of slid down the cable and they're bounced off the other wire and they're all out there looking for grass doing what cows do so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap this up and sign off um, before we go, I'm going to drop down here a little bit and kind of look at this line. I'm going to zoom in on it. You can really tell the line where the fence was between where it's green and where it's brown. We're coming up on it, looking straight down it right now. I think that's just, that's just really neat. You can definitely see what the cattle have used and what they've eaten and what they haven't. Now here, I posted the picture of this on Facebook this morning. From ground level of course but this is even cooler so we're looking at the, the green the green on the left is more recovery than the green on the right and the brown strip that's uh that's grazed that has the least amount of rest on it in the frame right now so just showing you kind of the difference between oh somewhere on top of 20 days rest and somewhere around two weeks rest and somewhere around about four days um, since we grazed that brown part so things are pretty cool here um, I guess while I got the camera rolling we're still watering off the main water trap so they're walking back to the water trap in another couple of days we'll be watering off the portable pond which uh, we should be able to get there here in just a couple minutes we'll even make it a little more interesting we'll fly backwards Oh, there's our cows. Let's see, oh, well, I think I might be a little bit. Got cocky and trying to fly backwards. Don't know where the hell I'm at. Looking for that, looking for my water tank, looking for the portable pond. Ah, well, I can't find it. So I suck at life, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and recover the drone and continue about my day. We'll drop down and uh, come around them from the north. Head down and grazing, just what we like to see. All right. Gang, I'm Red Hills Rancher, and it's a beautiful day in the Red Hills, and uh, I'm out of battery power, so I'm going to go ahead and land this drone, and we're going to get back to work. You guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in and playing along.